Hello, I am JMS. In uh, 2020, I decided to start playing the full campaign of Gary Grigsby's War in the East 1, not 2. Uh, I play as the Axis and the computer takes control over the Soviet Union. I play uh, one turn each week and I play on the challenging level. Uh, if all goes well, I will continue playing this game, which I have now played for one year almost, for two, three years more, uh, or until the campaign has ended, or I have won or lost. The summer offensive of 1941 went over expectations when I played, I must say. But the winter of 1941-42 was much worse than expected. And as the new offensive season is about to begin, I thought it might be interesting to see how I actually make my films for each turn. I am making a new film format that will bring some improvements. Most of all it will show the whole map and not just a section of it, which will make it easier to see all the action that happens in Leningrad and at the main front. Uh, but first we can see how it used to look. When I started the playing, I decided just to show armies to make it a quick uh, movie. I didn't show any front line and um, that worked mm, yeah, okay, uh, but it could be much better. Uh, it worked uh, okay, especially up until different armies started to move into the same area. Then suddenly everything became very agglomerated and it was hard to see what the different armies were doing. It was also a problem when different armies were spreading out over the front to see what each part of that army were doing. In this new format uh, I'm doing, I also want to cut down on how long it takes to make the actual film. The original film that I'm using now, it takes about six hours to make and uh, the new format, which is improved, will take oh, maybe three hours instead to make. Uh, so except the first format, I decided to quickly update it and to introduce uh, a front line, which was the main improvement there because it's much easier to see what is happening. Uh, I also started to add uh, core units which made it easier when different armies like the second panzer group were separating over wide distances to see what the different corps were doing. I also had a very quick uh, idea of tilting the camera so you would see it from an uh, angle, which I thought was pretty okay, but it was total crap for everyone else trying to follow what was happening. So I used that for one turn and then I gave it up. So right now I have uh, this kind of format where I have all the armies and most of the cores are in it. Uh, but uh, as I said, the problem is I only we only see a section of the front and not the whole front. And especially in Pocket Leningrad and the main front is moving apart, it becomes more and more difficult to follow the actual action. So this I want to fix in this new format. Uh, but first, let's see how I actually do when I play each uh, turn. Uh, as I'm still developing the new uh, version, uh, I will show you a little bit uh, of the first turn I played. So the, my first uh, action is to make a general plan what I want the different armies to do in the best case scenario. In the 
first turn I wanted the 18th army to strike north. I wanted the 4th panzer group to link up with them and encircle all the units south of the 18th army. I also wanted the 2nd and 3rd panzer group to meet up somewhere west of Minsk and encircle all the enemy units in that area. So I make a general plan what I want to do. And then for each week I issue orders to all the different armies. This is just a way for me to know, okay, what do I want each army to do in general terms? Not a specific uh, how it should move, but in what direction it should go, if it should attack or it should go on the defense, if it should collaborate with any other army and so on. And as soon as I have issued all those orders to every army, I actually go and start playing playing the game. And here is, uh, I did a very uh, short attack of in turn one. It's not a real attack I used because then I put in much more effort. But in general it's the same principle. If I attack I try to use those units that are furthest from the front to attack and actually break the front. And then use the units closest to the front front with most movement points to actually move behind the enemy and encircle it. And here we can see the 18th army attacking north as I had stated in my general plan and in the actual orders to that army. As soon as I've played the whole turn which can take anything between one to three hours it depends very much how much movement there is and if I have to reorganize something. When that is done, I write an after action report stating how well did the army perform? Did it take a lot of losses? Did it perform better than expected, worse than expected? And so on. When this is done, uh, I for the movie I have to take screenshots in the current format I take about, I think it's four or five screenshots for a part of the front. But in the new format I'm taking screenshots of the whole map plus extra information like losses for units, for air, um, showing each army, how the divisions in the army is doing and so on. And when that is done I go to Blender. Blender is the program I actually use to create the movie. Uh, Blender is a 3D animation software that is totally free. It's a very cool software. It has a steep learning curve, but uh, once you get over the you learn the basics, you can do a lot of things with it. I'm using an older version because I haven't learned the new version. They changed the GUI uh, slightly. But uh, if you like 3D animations and want to try it out, I highly recommend Blender. It's a, it's a very good program. So this is Blender. This is how the room will look for the new film format. And uh, here you can see just all the objectives that are in the room. We have a camera, we have a teletype printer. Over here will be a short movie shown. And in the middle of the table is the actual map. So if I turn on the material, we will actually see the map. And on the map is of course all the armies and all the cores. They are not in the correct position because I'm still developing this uh, part of the software. Or the software of this turn of the new movie I will be using. But as soon as I've got in all the screenshots into Blender, I start moving the front, which uh, goes like this, that you have the original front in the beginning of the turn, and in the end of the turn, it will move. And the movement is simply done by uh, editing this line. So it's a lot of small dots and you drag it so it matches the 
the current front line, something like this. Uh, I also have to move the armies uh, and all the cores and uh, it's a lot of manual work but you go to the beginning of the animation you just uh, put a keyframe which just means that uh, this object should start at this frame at this position and then you go to the last position of the animation which is actually when the front is moving and you move your army where you want it let's say it's up here somewhere and you keyframe that and now that army will move as it should so i have to do that for all the armies and all the cores which is pretty many at the moment at one i uh, what one time i had an idea to do it for each division but i gave that up because it would just take way too much time it would take longer than, uh, than a week just to update everything so when i'm done with this one i have moved everything uh, ah yes i should also show i have will introduce a um, kind of a ticker tape or a morse code tape that will show some of the action that is actually happening between the start of the turn and the end of the turn and uh, that should give some more information regarding certain armies or certain cores that are involved in something that is uh, interesting for that specific term, usually attack or on the defense. So when I'm done with all of this, I have to start making the movie. So the movie is basically a number of uh, pictures combined into a movie. And each picture is called rendering, and each, each picture is rendered like this. Uh, Blender has a camera, and the camera is actually, wherever the camera is pointing, is what will be rendered. And in this case, we have the camera, let's see where we have it, we we'll have to change here. Uh, in here we have the camera. So in this case, the camera is pointing down and it will render that view at some point it will be pointing towards the or, uh, view camera it will be pointing towards the room showing the pic uh, the movie that will be shown in the beginning of the movie so it's a movie inside the movie this takes about three four hours now to render so i've got it down from six hours to three, four hours, which is an improvement. When that is done, when it's rendered everything out, uh, then I make the movie. The movie I make in open shot. It's a pretty okay video editor. It has some problems, like if you have uh, sound that are overlapping different sound effects, it has a tendency to start crackling. But in general, it works well for what I need it to do. And the last thing I do when the movie is done and it's rendering, I just check how the next turn looks like. Uh, I just check, uh, is the weather muddy? Is it winter? Is it summer? Uh, have the Soviets done anything specific? Just in general terms, I don't go in through uh, specific units. It's just so I have an idea how it looks and I you know, mull it over during the week until Friday comes, or actually Thursday, I play my game, so I have the movie ready by Friday. And uh, so it cuts down a little bit of the time when I want to actually play the game. And this combines two of the things I love, and that is World War II strategy and 3D animation. Two birds with one stone, so to speak. If you want to see other 3D animation movies I have made, uh, you can head over to a channel I started with my wife called Two Original Swans, where, we'll, where we will have a little bit of this and that. It's a channel without a specific theme, but uh, it will be uh, not World War II, but it will be audiobooks, it will be creations, it will be 3D animations and whatever we come up with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this.
to see a little bit how I play the game and how I make my movies. And uh, I hope I see you on Friday when the offensive season will begin because I sneak, uh, I uh, check the weather and it's uh, clear. So I will launch my summer offensive on Friday. Until then, uh, stay safe.